Gaylene Van Horn, and I'm a 2017 graduate of the Johnson County Master Food Volunteer Program. And I'm here today to demonstrate No Need Bread. This is a wonderful thing to have in your repertoire of cooking, and it's so easy, and you can make it most any time, and it is wonderful to give for gifts. If you're invited out for dinner, it's always nice to take a little loaf of bread to somebody, even if they don't use it for the meal. They can put it in the refrigerator or in the freezer and enjoy it at a later date for toast or whatever they'd like. So let's get started. We are glad to be here today to start our no need bread. And what we're going to do first is measure our flour. And a lot of times we use a cup. The recipe calls for four cups when you just put it in the cup and then put it in your bowl sometimes you don't get an accurate measurement we are going to use a scale and we put our bowl on the scale and then what we need for the four cups is 512 grams so i am going to measure from my flour for to 512 grams i'm going to kind of not I'm going to lightly put it in there kind of spread it around till i get to the 512 grams. Once you get used to using a scale, you really won't want to go back to the cups. We've measured our flour, and now we're going to add our other ingredients. I'm going to take my bowl off of the scale, and I'm going to add two and a fourth teaspoons of yeast. I'm going to put that in there. And then I'm going to add two teaspoons of kosher salt and we're going to kind of mix that together and I'm going to make a little well and you can use uh, sugar or you could use agave uh, today I am using honey because I really like how it browns when I add honey so I'm going to add that. And then I'm going to add my two cups of water. And it should be warm water, about 110 degrees. And we'll see where we are. <clears throat> my little thermometer here. Good. We are good. We're going to mix this together. And we're going to form a little... And pour it slowly and we mix it. The spatula. Go around the sides, get it all mixed together. It takes a few minutes, but it doesn't take very long. So getting all nice and moist. Bread dough. Yay. Let's see if there's no kneading. Just get it mixed together. This forms a little ball, a little moist ball. go. And now what we do, that in there, we're going to moisten, a dampen a towel, just a tiny bit, make sure it's not dripping. And we're going to cover this and then we're going to let it rise for approximately two hours. And I like to put it on my dryer because that's a great place for it to rise. It's also one of the warmest rooms in my home. So I will put it there and we'll let it rise for two hours and check it. And then we'll be ready to get it in the oven pretty soon. All right, we've let our bread rise, our dough rise. And so we're gonna uncover it and we're gonna take two forks and we're going to deflate our dough and push it to the center of our bowl and just keep cleaning off your fork so that it kind of gets into a big ball 
And you sometimes have to scrape along the side. And then there, that's that. Now what we're going to do is you can use either butter or you can um, use a, a spray for your dishes that you're gonna bake your bread in. And there's a variety of choices. You can use a regular bread pan, you can use something like this, or if you like littler pieces of, of bread that you wanna share, or just have something for a little lunch, you can bake it in a smaller container. And sometimes I even use these for like almost small little rolls to share. Or you can use anything like this. You can, it's wonderful to try different things to bake your bread in. So to, we're gonna shake our spray. I'm gonna spray a little bit. And we're gonna spray it really good because what will happen when we bake it, it'll, we're done, we'll just pop it out, turn over our containers and put it on our cooling rack. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a little paper towel and just kind of wipe it so it's nice and covered. And today I'm using these two bigger containers. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the bread with my forks and try to separate it. Sometimes it's a little challenging to do that. Whoa! And kind of plop it in there. Take the other, I'll add a little bit more to that one. Whoa, and then that kind of happens, but that's all right. So we'll kind of spread that around that container. There. And then we're going to take this and put it in this one. And then we will set them aside. Now we aren't going to cover them this time. We are just going to let them sit for about 20 minutes. And what I like to do is I like to put them in on top of my dryer. And when my dryer's running, they really rise fast. So that's a great way to let them rise for that 10 to 20 minutes. You can check them. And I'm also going to turn my oven on to 425 to get preheated so that when I'm ready to after the 20 minutes and I can put them in the oven and then they can bake for the time that's required. And we have beautifully risen dough and we're ready to put it in our oven and to bake. And I'm gonna put both of these in and we're going to bake them at 425 for 18 minutes and we'll lower the temp to 375 for another 15 to 18 minutes. We'll take a look at them when that happens, when we've finished the timing and see how they look and see if they're brown enough on top so we can take them out of the oven and check them out. Okay, we're gonna see if our bread's done and we use a little thermometer. And as long as it gets to 200, 205, we are in good shape. And it's going up, it's going up. Oh yeah, 202. We are good. We're gonna take this out. Carefully take it out. Turn it over. Oh, and it came out delightful. Take this one out. And you wanna be sure to use your gloves. There it is. Came out wonderful, turn the oven off. We're gonna let it rest for 20 minutes. Then we're gonna slice it, we're gonna give it a test taste. All right, we are, our product is here and it's nice and brown on the top, yum. And we're gonna take a little slice. It's cooled about 20 minutes. I'm gonna cut it. Oh, yum. Mmm, it smells delicious. I'm gonna put a little butter on it and do a little taste test. Oh, the butter's melting great.
Yum. Bread for dinner tonight or for a friend tomorrow. Enjoy.